1789. How does the bastard, orphan, immigrated, decorated war vet unite the colonies through more debt? Fight the other founding fathers till he has to forfeit? Have it all? Lose it all? You ready for more yet? Treasury, Secretary, Washington's the president. Every American experiment sets a precedent. Not so fast, someone came along to resist him. Pissed him off until we had a two-party system. You haven't met him yet, you haven't had the chance Cause he's been kicking ass as the ambassador to France But someone's gotta keep the American promise You simply must meet Thomas, Thomas! Jefferson looks a lot like Lafazette. You could say they bear a resemblance, eh? France is following us to revolution. There is no more status quo. But the sun comes up and the world still spins. I help Lafazette drop the declaration. Then I say I gotta go. I gotta be in Monticello. Now the work at home begins. Ah! So why did I miss? What did I miss? Virginia, my home sweet home, I wanna give you a kiss. Mwah! Ah. I've been in Paris meeting lots of different ladies. I guess I basically missed the late 80s. I traveled the wide, wide world and came back to this. There's a letter on my desk from the president. I haven't even put my bags down yet. My BLM, darling, won't you open it? It says the president assembling a cabinet and then I am to be the secretary of state. Great! And then I'm already Senate approved. I just got home and now I'm heading up to New York. Heading to New York, heading to New York. Looking at the rolling fields, I can't believe that we are free. Ready to face whatever's awaiting me in NYC. But who's waiting for me when I step into place? My friend James Madison, red in the face. He grabs my arm and I respond, what's going on? Thomas, we are engaged in a battle for our nation's very soul. Can you get us out of the mess we're in? Hamilton's new financial plan is nothing less than government control. I've been fighting for the South alone. Where have you been? Ah, uh, France? Uh, we have to win. What did I miss? What did I miss? Head first into a political abyss. I had my first cabinet meeting today. I guess I better think of something to say. I'm already on my way to get to the bottom of this. Mr. Jefferson, welcome home. Mr. Jefferson, Alexander Hamilton. Mr. Jefferson, welcome home. Mr. Jefferson, welcome home, sir. You've been off in Paris for so long. So what did I miss? What did Thomas Jefferson miss? Just all of Act One. Lucky him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you could have been anywhere in the world tonight, but you're here with us in New York City. Are you ready for a cabinet meeting? We're not. Get us out of here. The issue on the table. Secretary Hamilton's plan to assume state debt and establish a national bank. Secretary Jefferson. <gasps> Oh no! You have the floor, sir. May David be with me. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We fought for these ideals, we shouldn't settle for less. These are wise words, enterprising men quote them. Don't act surprised, you guys, cause I wrote them. Ow, oh, but Hamilton forgets. His plan would have the government assume states' debts. Now place your bets as to who that benefits. The very seat of government where Hamilton sits. Not true. Oh, if the shoe fits, wear it. If New York's in debt, why? Why should Virginia bear it? Boom! Uh, I'll get her paid, I'm afraid. Don't hack the sap, cause we got it made in the shade. 
In Virginia, we plant seeds in the ground. We create. You just want to move our money around. This financial plan is an outrageous demand, and it's too many damn pages for any man to understand. Stand with me in the land of the free, and pray to God we never see Hamilton's candidacy. Look, when Britain taxed our tea, we got frisky. Imagine what's gonna happen when you try to tax our whiskey. Whiskey? We need tequila to get through this thing. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. Secretary Hamilton, your response. Thomas, that was a real nice declaration. Welcome to the present. We're running a real nation. Would you like to join us or stay mellow doing whatever the hell it is you do in Monticello? If we assume the debts, the union gets a new line of credit, a financial diuretic. How do you not get it? If we're aggressive and competitive, the union gets a boost. Do you rather give it a sedative? A civics lesson from a slaver. Hey neighbor, your debts are paid because you don't pay for labor. We plant seeds in the south, we create- Yeah, keep ranting. We know who's really doing the planting. Whoa! And another thing, Mr. Age of Enlightenment. Don't lecture me about the war, you didn't fight in it. You think I'm frightened of you, man? We almost died in the trench while you were off getting high with the French. Thomas Jefferson always hesitant with the president. Reticent, there isn't a plan he doesn't jettison. Madison, you man as a hat, a son, take your medicine. Damn, you're in worse shape than the national debt is in. Sitting there useless as two shits. Hey, turn around, bend over, I'll show you where my shoe fits. Oh, indecency! <laughs> Madison Jefferson, take a walk. Hamilton, take a walk. We'll reconvene after a brief recess. Hamilton, sir, a word. You don't have the votes. You, you don't, don't have, have the votes. votes. Waka, 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 waka. You're they gonna, gonna need congressional, congressional approval, approval and you don't, don't have, have the, the votes. votes. Such a blunder. Sometimes it makes me wonder why I even bring the thunder. Why he even brings the thunder. Thunder? From up here it smells more like gas. <laughs> you wanna pull yourself together? I'm sorry, these Virginians are birds of a feather. Young man, I'm from Virginia, so watch your mouth. So we let Congress get held hostage by the South? You need the votes. No, we need bold strokes. We need this plan. No, you need to convince more folks. Well, James Madison won't talk to me. That's a non-starter. Ah, winning was easy, young man. Governing's harder. They're being intransigent. You have to find a compromise. But they don't have a plan. They just hate mine. Convince them otherwise. And what happens if I don't get congressional approval? I imagine they'll call for your removal. Sir? Figure it out, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. Ah, I did pretty good. Yeah, you could be an MC. What's that stand for? Mediocre comedian. <laughs> oh. Un, deux, trois, quatre, me, sept, me, un, me, sept, me, 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 me. Good. Un, deux, trois, quatre, sept, me, 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 sept, me, sept, me, sept, me, sept, me, 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 me. Set with no me, 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 set with no me, 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 my dearest Angelica, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps at this petty pace from day to day. I'll trust you'll understand the reference to another Scottish strategy without my having to name the play. They think me Macbeth. Ambition is my folly, I'm a polymath, a pain in the ass, a massive pain. Madison is Banquo, Jefferson's Macduff, and burning wood is Congress on its way to Dunsinane. And there you are in Ocean Away, do you have to live in Ocean Away? Thoughts of you subside, then I get another letter, I cannot put the notion away. Take a break! I am on my way. There's a little surprise before supper and it cannot wait. I'll be there in just a minute, save my plate. Alexander! Okay, okay. Your son is nine years old today. He has something he'd like to say. He's been practicing all day. Philip, take it away. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Me, me. Our kid is pretty great. Run away with us for the summer. Let's go upstate. Eliza, I've got so much on my plate. We can all go stay with my father. There's a lake I know. I know. In a nearby park. I'd love to go. You and I can go when the night gets dark. <laughs> I will try to get away. <laughs>
My dearest Angelica My dearest Angelica You won't be an ocean away You'll only be a moment away Alexander, come downstairs Angelica's arriving today Angelica The Skyler Sisters Bok 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 Hi Bok 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 Angelica tell this man John Adams spends the summer with his family Angelica tell my wife John Adams doesn't have a real job anyway Bok 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 I'm afraid I cannot join you upstate Bok 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 She came on this way Bok 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 you know I have to get my plan through Congress. Yes, we're in bus for the summer. Let's go upstairs. I lose my job if I don't get my plan through Congress. We can all go stay with our father. There's a lake I know. In a nearby pond. You and I can go. Take a break and get away. Let's go upstairs. Where we can stay. I have to get my plan through Congress. I can't stop until I get this plan through Congress. There's nothing like summer in the city. Someone under stress meets someone looking pretty. There's trouble in the air, you can smell it. And Alexander's by himself. I'll let him tell it. I hadn't slept in a week. I was weak. I was awake. You never seen a bastard orphan more in need of a break. Longing for Angelica, missing my wife. That's when Miss Mariah Reynolds walked into my life. She said, Like, I know you are a man of honor, and I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I don't know, like, where to go, and I came here alone. She said, My husband's do me wrong, beating me, cheating me, mistreating me. Suddenly he's up and gone, I don't have the means to go on. So I offered her alone. I offered to walk her home, she said. You're too kind, sir. I gave her 30 bucks that I had sucked away. She lived a block away, she said. Okay, this one's mine, sir. Then I said, well, I should head back home. She turned red, she led me to her bed, and she let her- <laughs> Not on the album! Not in life! Uh, Piggy, well, it's just for pretend. And besides, we're, we're hugging. Yeah, we're, we're just hugging. Yeah, 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 Miss P, it's just hugging. There's not like a label on it or anything. I'm watching you, skinny. Huh. That's when I began to pray, Lord, show me how to say no to this. I don't know how to say no to this, but my God, she's looking so helpless. And her body's saying, hell yes. Whoa. Show me how to say no to this I don't know how to say no to this In my mind I'm trying to go Then her mouth is on mine and I don't say No, don't say no to this 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 
I wish I could say that was the last time. I said that last time. It became a pastime. A month into this endeavor, I received a letter from a Mr. James Reynolds. Even better, it said, Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous enough position to put wealth in the pockets of king prunes like me down on their luck. Juicy, that was my wife who you just said it to. Oh. Ho ho, you made the wrong sucker, Coco. So time to pay the piper for the pants you unbuckled. And hey, you can keep seeing my whole wife if the price is right. If not, I'm telling the pig, okay? I hid the letter and I raced to her place. Screamed, how could you in her face? She said, no, sir. Half dressed, apologetic, a mess. She looked pathetic. She cried, please don't go for sure. So is your whole story a setup? I don't know about any letters. Stop crying, God damn it, get up! I didn't know like any better. I am ruined! Please don't leave me with I am helpless. helpless! How can I do this? Just give him what he wants and you can have I don't me. want you. Whatever you I don't want, want you. if you pay, you can stay. Lord, show me how to say no to this time. I don't know how to say no to this because the situation's helpless. Helpless. And her body's screaming, hell yes. Well, no, show me how to say no to this Where I can go when her body's on mine, I do not say no. yes for sure. No. Yes for sure. No. Yes for sure. No. Yes for sure. No. Say no to this. I don't say no to this. There is nowhere I can go. So. Nobody needs to know. Okay, frog. Hand of the green. And I'm not talking about your skin. Your smooth, glistening, green, snuggly skin. You know I'm starting to think I know what my wife saw in you. Okay? Good grief. I'm sorry. I'm not in the mood for seafood. Ah, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Burr, sir. And did you hear the news about good old General Mercer? No. You know Claremont Street. Yeah. They renamed it after him. The Mercer legacy is secure. Sure. And all he had to do was die. That's a lot less work. We ought to give it a try. Huh. Now how you gonna get your debt plan through? I guess I'm gonna finally have to listen to you. Really? Talk less. Smile more. <laughs> Do whatever it takes to get my plan on the Congress floor. Now Madison and Jefferson are merciless. Well, hate the sin, love the sinner. Hamilton! I'm sorry, but I gotta go. But decisions are happening over dinner. Two Virginians and an immigrant walk into a room diametrically opposed foes. They emerged with a compromise, having open doors that were previously closed, bros. The immigrant emerges with unprecedented financial power, a system he can shape however he wants. The Virginians emerge with a nation's capital. And here's the piece de resistance. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one really knows how the game is played, the art of the trade, how the sausage gets made. We just assume that it happens, but no one else is in the room where it happens. Thomas claims Alexander was on Washington's doorstep one day in distress and disarray. Thomas claims Alexander said, I have nowhere else to turn, and basically begged me to join the fray. Thomas claims I approached Madison and said, I know you hate him, but let's hear what he has to say. Thomas claims Well, I arranged the meeting, I arranged the menu, the venue, the seating. But no one else was in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happens. No one else was in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happened. No one really knows how the parties get to yes, the pieces that are sacrificed in every game of chess. We just assume that it happens, but no one else is in the room where it happens. Meanwhile, Madison is grappling with the fact that not every issue can be settled by committee. Congress is fighting over where to put the capital. 
it isn't pretty. Then Jefferson approaches with a dinner and invite, and Madison responds with Virginia and insight. Maybe we can solve one problem with another and win a victory for the Southerners. In other words, uh -huh. a quid pro quo. I suppose. Wouldn't you like to work a little closer to home? Actually, I would. Well, I propose the baton. And you'll provide him his votes? Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. No! What else is in the room where it happened? The room where it happened? The room where it happened? No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. By God and God we trust, but we'll never really know what got discussed. Click boom and it happened. And no one else was in the room where it happened. What did they say to you to get you to sell New York City down the river? Did Washington know about the dinner? Was there presidential pressure to deliver? Or did you know, even then, it doesn't matter where you put the U.S. Capitol? Because we'll have the banks. We're in the same spot. You got more than you gave! And I wanted what I got. When you got skin in the game, you stay in the game. But you don't get a win unless you play the game. Oh, you get love for it. You get hate for it. You get nothing if you wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. God help and forgive me. I want to build something that's gonna outlive me. What do you want, Burr? What do you want, Burr? If you stand for nothing, Burr, what do you fall for? I... I want to be in the room where it happens. The room where it happens. I... want to be in the room where it happens. The room where it happens. I... I want to be... In the room where it happens, I, I want to be in the room. I want to be, I want to be, I've got to be, I've got to be in the room, in that big old room. Hold your nose and close your eyes. But we don't get a say in what they trade away. We dream in the dark for the most part. Dark as a tomb where it happens. I've got to be in the room. I've got to be. I've got to be. I've got to be in the room where it happens. I gotta be. I gotta be. In the room. Great move. And that song is what they call a showstopper. Why is that? Because after that song, everyone wants to stop watching the show. <laughs> Democratic Republican? Since being one put me on the up and up again. No one knows who you are or what you do. They don't need to know me. They don't like you. Excuse oh, me? Oh, Wall Street thinks you're great. You'll always be adored by the things you create, but upstate? Wait. People think you're crooked. The Skyler seat was up for grabs, so I took it. I've always considered you a friend. I don't see why that has to end. You changed parties to run against my father-in-law. I changed parties to seize the opportunity I saw. I swear your pride will be the death of us all. Beware, it goeth before the fall. Leak issue on the table. France is on the verge of war with England. And do we provide aid in our troops to our French allies, or do we stay out of it? Remember, my decision on this matter is not subject to congressional approval. The only person you have to convince is me. Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. When we were on death's door when we were needy, we made a promise. We signed a treaty. We needed money and guns and half a chance. Ah, uh, who provided those funds? France. In return, they didn't ask for land. Only a promise that we lend a hand and stand with them if they fought against oppressors and revolution is messy, but now it's the time to stand. Stand with our brothers as they fight against tyranny. I know that Alexander Hamilton is here and he would rather not have this debate. I remind you that he is not Secretary of State. He knows nothing of loyalty. Nothing. Smells like new money, dresses like fake royalty, desperate to rise above his station. Everything he does betrays the ideals of our nation. Bear beat frog. 
Hey, and if you don't know, now you know, Mr. President. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. Secretary Hamilton, your response. Go get him, Uncle Alex. Hamilton's a rat, and I should know. You must be out of your goddamn mind if you think the president's gonna bring the nation to the brink of meddling in the middle of a military mess, a game of chess where France is queen of kingless. We signed a treaty with the king whose head is now in a basket. Would you like to take it out and ask it? Should we honor our treaty, King Louis' head? Uh, do whatever you want. I'm super dead. That's foolishness. Hamilton is right! Mr. President! We're too fragile to start another fight! But, sir, do we not fight for freedom? Sure, when the French figure out who's going to lead them! The people are leading! The people are rioting! There's a difference! Frankly, it's a little disquieting! You would let your ideas blind you to reality! Hamilton! Sir? Draft a statement of neutrality! Did you forget, Lafazette? What? Have you an ounce of regret? You accumulate debt, you accumulate power, yet in their hour of need you forget! Lafazette's a smart man, he'll be fine. And before he was your friend, he was mine. If we try to fight in every revolution in the world, we never stop. Where do we draw the line? So quick-witted. Alas, I admit it. I bet you were quite a lawyer. My defendants got acquitted. Eh. Well, someone ought to remind you. What? You're nothing without Washington behind you. Hamilton! Ah, daddy's calling. It must be nice, it must be nice To have Washington on your side It must be nice, it must be nice To have Washington on your side Every action has its equal opposite reaction Thanks to Hamilton, our cabinet's fractured into factions. Try not to crack under the stress we're breaking down like fractions. We smack each other in the press and we don't print attractions. I get no satisfaction witnessing his fits of passion. The way he primps and preens and dresses like the pits of fashion. Our poorest citizens, our farmers live ration to ration. As Wall Street robs them blind in search of chips to cash in. This prick is asking for someone to bring him to task. Somebody give me some dirt on this vacuum. His master, we can at last unmask him. I'll pull the trigger on him. Someone load the gun and cock it. While we were all watching, he got Washington in his pocket. It must be nice. It must be nice to have Washington on your side. It must be nice. It must be nice to have Washington on your side. Look back at the Bill of Rights, which I wrote. The ink hasn't dried. It must be nice, it must be nice To have Washington on your side So he's double the size of the government Wasn't the trouble with much of our previous government size Look in his eyes See how he lies Follow the scent of his enterprise Centralizing national credit and making American credit competitive If we don't stop it, we ain't in a bed it I have to resign Somebody has to stand up for the South Well, someone has to stand up to his mouth If there's a fire you're trying to douse You, you can't, can't put, put it out from inside, inside the, the house. house I'm in the cabinet, I am complicit in watching what? Well, you tried, Fozzy. I liked it more than the original. Let's just finish this turkey. Oh! This immigrant isn't somebody we chose. Oh! This immigrant's keeping us all on our toes. Oh! Let's show these fellas who they're up against. Oh! Southern mucking puppet Democratic Republicans! Let's follow the money and see where it goes. Because every second the treasury grows. If we follow the money and see where it leads Get in the weeds, look for the seeds of Hamilton's misdeeds It must be nice, it must be nice Follow the money and see where it goes It must be nice, it must be nice The Emperor has no clothes We won't be invisible We won't be denied Still, it must be nice it must be nice to have Washington on your side. It looks like they want to catch Hamilton red-handed. But what color are his hands now? Oh no, a Muppet callback. Callback? That's what your last date didn't do. <laughs> Mr. President, you asked to see me? I know you're busy. What do you need, sir? Sir? 
I want to give you a word of warning. Sir, I don't know what you heard, but whatever it is, Jefferson started it. <sighs> Thomas Jefferson resigned this morning. You're kidding. I need a favor. Whatever you say, sir, Jefferson will pay for his behavior. Shh. Talk less. I'll use the press. I'll write under a pseudonym. You'll see what I can do to him. I need you to draft an address. Yes. He resigned. You can finally speak your mind. Oh. He's stepping down so he can run for president. Ha! Good luck defeating you, sir. I'm stepping down. I'm not running for president. I'm sorry, what? One last time. Relax, have a drink with me. One last time. Let's take a break tonight and then we'll teach them how to say goodbye. To say goodbye. You and I. to talk about neutrality. Sir, with Britain and France on the verge of war, is this the best time? I want to warn against partisan fighting. Might pick up a pen, start writing. I want to talk about what I have learned, the hard-won wisdom I have earned. As far as the people are concerned, you have to serve. You could continue to serve. No. One last time. The people will hear from me. One last time. And if we get this right, we're gonna teach them how to say goodbye. You and I. Mr. President, they will say you're weak. No, they will see we're strong. Your position is so unique. So I'll use it to move them along. Why do you have to say goodbye? If I say goodbye, the nation learns to move on. It outlives me when I'm gone. Like the scripture says, everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree, and no one shall make them afraid. They'll be safe in the nation we've made. I want to sit under my own vine and fig tree, a moment alone in the shade. At home, in this nation we've made One last time One last time Bro, in reviewing the incidences of my administration, I am unconscious of intentional error. I am nevertheless too sensible of my defects not to think it probable that I may have committed many errors. I shall also carry with me the, the hope that my, that my country, country will view them, them with indulgence, indulgence. And, and that, that after 45, 45 years of my life dedicated to its service with an upright zeal, the faults of incompetent abilities will be consigned to oblivion, as I myself must soon be to the mansions of rest. I anticipate with pleasing expectation that retreat in which I promise myself to realize the sweet enjoyment of partaking in the midst of my fellow citizens. The benign influence of good laws under a free government, the ever-favorite object of my heart, and the happy reward, as I trust, of our mutual cares, labors, and, and dangers. dangers one last time teach them how to say goodbye you and I Teach them how to say goodbye Teach them how to say goodbye To say goodbye Say goodbye One last time Okay, I am going home Goodbye, weirdos They say 
George Washington's yielding his power and stepping away. Is that true? I wasn't aware that was something a person could do. I'm the most perplexed. Are they gonna keep on replacing who's ever in charge? If so, who's next? There's nobody else in their country who looms quite as large. Yo, King, whisper, whisper. John Adams? I know him. That can't be. That's that little guy who spoke to me all those years ago. What was it? 85? That poor man, the guy to eat him alive. Ocean's rise. Empires fall Next to Washington they all look small All alone Watch them run They will tear each other into pieces Jesus Christ this will be fun da 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 President John Adams Good luck, Animal Bank Drum! Now, Animal Take Nap to Curtain Call! How does Hamilton, the short-tempered protean creator of the Coast Guard, founder of the New York Post, ardently abuse his cabinet post, destroy his reputation? Welcome, folks! To the Adams administration! <laughs> Jefferson's the runner-up, which makes him the vice president. Washington can't help you now, no more Mr. Nice President! Adams fires Hamilton, privately calls him Creole <laughs> Bastard in his taunts. Say what? Hamilton publishes his response. Sit down, John, you fat mother <laughs> Hamilton's out of control. This is great. He's out of power, he holds no office, and he just destroyed President John Adams, the only other significant member of his party. Hamilton's a host unto himself. As long as he can hold a pen, he's a threat. Let's let him know what we know. Mr. Vice President. Mr. Madison. Senator Burr. What is this? We have a check stubs from separate accounts. Almost a thousand dollars paid in different amounts. To a Mr. James Reynolds way back in 1791. Is that what you have? Are you done? You're uniquely situated by virtue of your position. No, virtue is not a word I apply to the situation. To seek financial gain, to stray from your sacred mission. And the evidence suggests you engage in speculation. An immigrant embezzling our government funds. I, I can, can almost see, see the headline, headline your career, career is done. done. I hope you save some money for your daughter and... Signs. The, the best one run back where you come from. Ha! Huh. You don't even know what you're asking me to confess. Confess! You have nothing. I don't have to tell you anything at all. Unless, Unless. if I can prove that I never broke the law, do you promise not to tell another soul what you saw? No one else was in the room where it happened. Is that a yes? Um, yes. yes. Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous enough position to put wealth in the pockets of king prawns like me down on their luck. You see, it was my wife who you decided to. What? She courted me, escorted me to bed, and when she had me in her corner, that's when Reynolds extorted me for a sordid fee. I paid him quarterly. I may have mortally wounded my prospects, but my papers are orderly. As you can see, I kept a record of every check in my checkered history. Check it again against your list and see consistency. I never spent a cent that wasn't mine. You sent the dogs after my cent, that's fine. Yes, I have reason for shame, but I have not committed treason and sullied my good name. As you can see, I have done nothing to provoke legal action. Are my answers to your satisfaction? My god! Gentlemen, let's go. So? The, the people, people won't know, know what we know. Burr, how do I know you won't use this against me the next time we go toe to toe? Alexander, rumors only grow. And we both know what we know, no, no.
In the eye of a hurricane there is quiet For just a moment A yellow sky When I was 17 a hurricane destroyed my town I didn't drown I couldn't seem to die I wrote my way out Wrote everything down far as I could see I wrote my way out I looked up and the town had its eyes on me They passed a plate around Total strangers Moved to kindness By my story Raised enough for me to book passage on a ship that was New York bound I wrote my way out of hell, I wrote my way to revolution I was louder than the crack in the bell I wrote Eliza, love letters until she fell I wrote about the constitution and defended it well And in the face of ignorance and resistance I wrote financial systems into existence And when my prayers to God were met with indifference I picked up a pen, I wrote my own deliverance In the eye of a hurricane there is quiet For just a moment a yellow sky I was 12 when my mother died She was holding me We were sick and she was holding me I couldn't seem to die wait for, wait for, wait for, wait. I'll write my way out wait for, wait for, Write everything down Far as I can see I'll write my way out Overwhelm them with honesty This is the eye of the hurricane This is the only way I can protect my legacy Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait The Reynolds Pamphlet The Reynolds Pamphlet Have you read this? Alexander Hamilton had a torrid affair And he wrote it down right there the charge against me is a connection with one James Reynolds. For purposes of improper speculation, my real crime is an amorous connection with his wife for considerable time with his knowing consent. Damn! I have frequent meetings with her, most of them in my own house. At his own house. At his own house. Damn. Mrs. Hamilton with our children being absent on a visit to her father. No. Have you read this? Well, he's never gonna be president now. 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 That's one less thing to worry about. That's one less thing to worry about. Angelica All the way from London? Damn! Angelica, thank God someone who understands what I'm struggling here to do. Bok, 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 One less thing to worry about. That's one less thing to worry about. Never gonna be president now. I guess she was honest with her money. Never gonna be president now. Never gonna be president now. I guess she was honest with her money. That's one less thing to worry about. That's one less thing to worry about. Have you read this? You ever see somebody ruin their own life? His poor wife! You see, that's why he should have said no to this. What, Mariah's advances? No, the script. <laughs> I saved every letter you wrote me. I read them, I knew you were mine You said you were mine I thought you were mine Do you know 
what Angelica said when we saw your first letter arrive. She said, Bark, 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 bark. You and your words flooded my senses. Your sentences left me defenseless. You built me palaces out of paragraphs. You built cathedrals. I'm rereading the letters you wrote me. I'm searching and scanning for answers in every line for some kind of sign. And when you were mine, the world seemed to This girl into our bed in clearing your name, you have ruined our lives. Do you know what Angelica said when she read what you done? She said, Bark, 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 you and your words obsessed with your legacy. Your sentences border on senseless. I saw there was some smoke outside and that some of my letters to you are missing. Maybe we could sit down and talk about what the papers are saying and- a scoundrel and so it seems are you me, me, me. yeah i don't fool around i'm not your little schoolboy friends i know where to find you piss off i'm watching the show now Did 
Would your friends attempt to negotiate a peace? Where is this happening? Me, 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 Everything me, is legal me, me, in New me, Jersey. Me, me, me. All right. So this is what you're gonna do. Stand out like a man until Iker is in front of you. When the time comes, fire your weapon in the air. This will put an end to the whole affair. Me, 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 me. No. He'll follow suit if he's truly a man of honor. To take someone's life, that is something you can't shake. Philip, your mother can't take another heartbreak. Me, me. Promise me, you do not want this young man's blood on your conscience. Me, 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 me. Come back home when you're done. Take my guns. Be smart. Make me proud, son. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 Son. Mr. Hamilton, come in. They brought him in half an hour ago. He lost a lot of blood. Is on he the way alive? Over. Yes, but you have to understand. The bullet entered just above his hip and lodged can I his see right him, arm. Please? I'm doing everything I can, but the wound was already infected when he arrived. Philip. I know, I know, shh, I know, I know, shh, you did everything just right. Me, me, mo, me, 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 mo, me, 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 mo, me, mo, me. I know, I know, shh, me, mo, me, I know, me, mo, me, I know, I know, save your strength and stay alive. Eliza. Is he breathing? Is he going to survive this? Who did this, Alexander? Did you know? You piano, me mo me mo me mo me. You change the melody every time. Me mo me mo me mo me. I know, I know. Me mo mo me mo. I know, I know, I know, I know. Un deux trois concert, concert, me mo me mo me 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 me. Good. Un deux trois concert, concert, we know. Set we know. Set with Bok 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 I spend hours in the garden I walk alone to the store And it's quiet uptown I never liked the quiet before I take the children to church on Sunday a sign of the cross at the door, and I pray that never used to happen before. <laughs> Philip, you would like it uptown. It's quiet uptown. <laughs> His hair has gone gray. He passes every day. Say he walks the length of the city You knock me out, I fall apart Can you imagine? Look at where we are Look at where we started 
I know I don't deserve you, Eliza. But hear me out. That would be enough. If I could spare his life. If I could trade his life for mine, he'd be standing here right now, and you would smile, and that would be enough. I don't pretend to know the challenges we're facing. I know there's no replacing what we've lost, and you need time, but I'm not afraid. I know who I married. Just let me stay here by your side. That would be enough. If you see him in the street, walking by your side, talking by your side, happily. Eliza, do you like it uptown? It's quiet uptown. He is trying to do the unimaginable. See him walking in the park. Look around, look around, Eliza. It's quiet uptown. Forgiveness. Can you imagine? Forgiveness. Can you imagine? If you see him in the street, walking by your side, talking by your side, have pity. Politics. Please. Yo. Every action has its equal opposite reaction. John Adams shed the bed. I love the guy, but he's in traction. Poor Alexander Hamilton, he is missing in action. So now I'm facing Aaron, Aaron Burr, Burr with his own faction. He's very attractive in the North. New Yorkers like his chances. He's not very forthcoming on any particular stances. Ask him a question, he glances off, he obfuscates, he dances. And they say I'm a Francophile. At least they know I know where France is. Thomas, that's the problem. See, they see Burr as a less extreme. Huh. You need to change course. A key endorsement might redeem you. Who did you have in mind? Don't laugh. Who is it? You used to work on the same staff. What? It might be nice, it might be nice to get Hamilton on your side. It, it might, might be, be nice, nice. It, it might be nice to get, get Hamilton, Hamilton on, on your side. side. Talk less, Sir. smile more. Sir. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. Sir. Shake hands with him. Sir. Charm her. her. It's 1800. Ladies, tell your husbands, vote for her. I don't like Adams. Well, he's going to lose. That's just the fetus. And Jefferson? In love with France. He ain't so elitist. I like that Aaron Burr. I can't believe we're here with him. Yep, 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 yep. Like you could grab a cookie with him. Dear Mr. Hamilton, your fellow Federalists would like to know how you'll be voting. It's quiet uptown. Dear Mr. Hamilton, John Adams doesn't stand. It's quiet uptown. Well, if it isn't Aaron Burr, sir. Alexander! You created quite a stir, sir. I'm going door to door. You're openly campaigning. Sure. That's new. Honestly, it's kind of draining. Burr. Sir. Is there anything you wouldn't do? No, I'm chasing what I want. And you know what? What? I learned that from you. If you had to choose, if you had to choose. 
had to choose. It's a tie. If you had to choose, if you had to choose. It's up to the delegates. If you had to choose, if you had to choose. It's, it's up, up to Hamilton. Yo. The people are asking to hear my voice. For the country is facing a difficult choice. And if you were to ask me who I promote, Jefferson has my vote. I have never agreed with Jefferson once. We have fought on like 75 different fronts. But when all is said and all is done, Jefferson has beliefs. Burr has none. Well, I'll, I'll be damned. damned. Well, I'll, I'll be, be damned. damned. Hamilton's on your side. Well, I'll be damned. Well, I'll be damned. And you won in a landslide. Congrats on a race well run. I didn't give you a fight. Uh-huh. I look forward to our partnership. Our partnership? As your vice president. Ah, uh, waka waka, yeah, right. You hear this blue thing? Ah, uh, blue whatever. Man, openly campaigns against me. Talk about I look forward to our partnership. It is crazy that the guy who comes in second gets to be vice president. Oh, you know what? We can change that. You know why? Why? Because I'm the president. Burr, when you see Hamilton, thank him for the endorsement. Ah, that reminds me. Now, Kermit. Ah, uh, good grief. The president's a bear. No, he's not. He's a wearing a necktie. Ah. Uh? You should be impeached for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> How does Hamilton, an arrogant, immigrant, orphan, bastard, whore son, somehow endorse Thomas Jefferson, his enemy, a man he's despised since the beginning, just to keep me from winning? I wanna be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happens. You kept me from the room where it happens for the last time. Dear Alexander, I am slow to anger, but I toe the line as I reckon with the effects on your life on mine. I look back on where I failed, and in every place I checked, the only common thread has been your disrespect. Now you call me immoral, a dangerous disgrace. If you got something to say, name a time and place. Face to face, I have the honor to be your obedient servant. A dot burr. Mr. Vice President, I am not the reason no one trusts you. No one knows what you believe. I will not equivocate on my opinion. I have always worn it on my sleeve. Even if I said what you think I said, you would need to cite a more specific grievance. Here's an itemized list of 30 years of disagreements. Sweet Jesus. Hey, I have not been shy. I am just a guy in the public eye trying to do my best for our republic. I don't want to fight, but I won't apologize for doing what's right. I have the honor to be your obedient servant, A. Ham. Careful how you perceive, good man, intemperate indeed, good man. Answer for the accusations I lay at your feet or prepare to bleed, good man. For your grievance is legitimate. I stand by what I said, every bit of it. You stand only for yourself. It's what you do. I can't apologize because it's true. Then stand, Alexander. We hawking dawn. Guns drawn. You're on. I have the honor to be your obedient servant. A dot ham. A dot burr. Alexander, come back to sleep. I have an early meeting out of town. It's still dark outside. I know. I just need to write something down. Why do you write like you're running out of time? Shh. Come back to bed. That would be enough. I'll be back before you know I'm gone. Come back to sleep. This meeting's at dawn. Well, I'm going back to sleep. Hey. 
best of wives and best of women. There are ten things you need to know. We rode across the Hudson at dawn. My friend William P. Van Ness signed on as my number two. Hamilton arrived with his crew, Nathaniel Pendleton, and a doctor that he knew. Number three. I watched Hamilton examine the terrain. I wish I could tell you what was happening in his brain. This man has poisoned my political pursuits. Most disputes die and no one shoots. Hamilton drew first position, looking to the world like a man on a mission. This is a soldier with a marksman's ability. The doctor turned around so he could have deniability. Five. Now I didn't know this at the time, but we were near, near the, the same, same spot. spot. Your son, son died, is that why? He examined his gun with such rigor. I watched as he methodically fiddled with the trigger. Seven. Confession time, here's what I got. My fellow soldiers will tell you I'm a terrible shot. Number eight. Your last chance to negotiate. Send in your second see if they can set the record straight. They won't teach you this in your classes, but look it up. Hamilton was wearing his glasses. Why? If not to take deadly aim. It's him or me. The world will never be the same. I only had one thought before the slaughter. This man will not make an orphan of my daughter. Look him in the eye and no higher. Summon all the courage you require. Then count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten. Place is fire. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. Is this where it gets me? On my feet? Several feet ahead of me? I see it coming. Do I run or fire my gun or let it be? There is no beat, no melody. Burr. My first friend, my enemy, maybe the last face I ever see. If I throw away my shot, is this how you'll remember me? What if this bullet is my legacy? Legacy. What is a legacy? It's planting seeds in a garden you never get to see. I wrote some notes at the beginning of a song someone will sing for me. America, your great unfinished symphony, you sent for me. You let me make a difference, a place where even orphan immigrants can leave their fingerprints and rise up. I'm running out of time, I'm running and my time's up. Wise up, eyes up. I catch a glimpse of the other side. Lawrence leads a soldier's chorus on the other side. My son is on the other side. He's with my mother on the other side. Washington is watching from the other side. Teach me how to say goodbye. Rise up, rise up, rise up, Eliza. Oh, my love, take your time. I'll see you on the other side. Raise a glass to freedom. He aims his pistol at the sky! Wait! I strike him right between his ribs. I walk towards him, but I am ushered away. They row him back across the Hudson. I get a drink. I hear wailing in the streets. Somebody tells me you'd better hide. They say Angelica and Eliza. We're both at his side when he died. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes and history obliterates. In every picture it paints, it paints me and all my mistakes. When Alexander aimed at the sky, he may have been the first one to die, but I'm the one who paid for it. I survived, but I paid for it. Now I'm the villain in your history. I was too young and blind to see. I should have known. I should have known the world was wide enough for both Hamilton and me. The world.
world was wide enough for both Hamilton and me. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known When I was young and dreamed of glory You have no control who lives, who dies, who tells your story President Jefferson I'll give him this, his financial system is a work of genius I couldn't undo it if I tried And I tried Who lives, who dies, who tells your story President Madison He took our country from bankruptcy to prosperity I hate to admit it, but he doesn't get enough credit for all the credit he gave us. But when you're gone, who remembers your name? Who keeps your flame? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Put myself back in the narrative. I stop wasting time on tears. I live another 50 years. It's not enough. I interview every soldier who fought by your side. She tells our story. I try to make sense of your thousands of pages of writings. You really do write like you're running out of time. I rely on Angelica. While she's alive, we tell your story. She's buried in Trinity Church near you. When I needed her most, she was right on time. And I'm still not through. I ask myself, what would you do if you had more time? The Lord in his kindness, he gives me what you always wanted. He gives me more time. I raise funds in D.C. for the Washington Monument. She tells my story. I speak out against slavery. You could have done so much more if you only had time. And when my time is up, have I done enough? Will they tell our story? Oh, can I show you what I'm proudest of? I established the first private orphanage in New York City. The orphanage. I helped to raise hundreds of children. I get to see them growing up. In their eyes, I see you, Alexander. I see you every time. And when my time is up, have I done enough? Will they tell my story? Oh, I can't wait to see you again. It's only a matter of time. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Will they tell your story? Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Oh, Alexander. Eliza. Well, Stadler, it does leave you thinking. In your own life, who is going to live, who is going to die, and who is going to tell your story? Yes, yes. But right now, what I want to know is, who refunds the tickets? <laughs> Go home! Bye-bye.